Hello everyone and welcome to one of the most requested games from yesterday's Tata Steel India Blitz section, uh, the, the second day. It's Arjun Erigaisi versus Hikaru Nakamura, uh, which is uh, of course a, a brilliant clash as uh, both of them are incredible players. Arjun won a spectacular second place in the Rapid section and now he's playing against the highest rated Blitz player in the world, that is Hikaru Nakamura. Uh, and uh, uh, he's already leading by uh, by by 2-0, he defeated uh, Hikaru in Rapid and he also defeated him in Blitz with the black pieces, and now Hikaru has a chance to at least grab a point with uh, with black. So let's see this game. It features the Nimzu Indian. It's it's uh, wonderful stuff. Uh, uh, let's check it out. Uh, uh, Arjun goes for d4. We have knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, and bishop to b4. The Nimzu Indian defense is on the board. We have f3, the Kmoch variation, and now c5. We have d5 and Hikaru castles. This is all very standard stuff, so nothing new here. e4. Uh, grabbing the full center here and now the main uh, ideas for black are d6 and b5. Hikaru goes for the sharper line, pawn to b5. Uh, idea being that if, if you capture this pawn then you weaken your d5 pawn then just e captures, sorry, <laughs> e captures on d5, e captures on d5 and rook d8 check and white is already in trouble. It's very hard to defend. You have a pawn on f3, you have to play something like bishop to e2 or, or, or knight to e2 or king to f2 and uh, while it might be playable it doesn't really uh, makes sense to give black all this advantage. So after b5, pawn to e5, uh, pushing the knight back, knight to e8, and now pawn to f4, grabbing even more center. e captures on d5, c captures, and pawn to d6. Now we have knight to f3, and uh, pawn to c4. There are many moves that uh, have been tried in this, uh, this position, but c4 seems to be the strongest one. Uh, a4 attacking this um, uh, expansion uh, Hikaru created on the queen side, and now knight to d7. We have a captures on b5, d captures on e5, uh, and now bishop captures on c4. We have knight to d6 now attacking the bishop and bishop back to e2. And there is a game where queen to b6 was played, but here we have e captures on f4 by Hikaru, and it is now as of move 14 that we have a completely new game. Uh, so Arjun castles, uh, his king uh, doesn't want to overstay his welcome, uh, and now bishop to b7. Here it seems that the best way for Hikaru to play this is just to push g five to defend the f4 pawn and uh, make uh, uh, Arjun uh, Arjun work for his meal here. But after castles and bishop to b7, Arjun just picks up the f4 pawn and now white is just a little bit better. He does have the past d5 pawn and black doesn't seem to have any uh, real uh, real counterplay here. Knight to f6, we have bishop to d3. Queen to d4 is even stronger, just uh, pure centralizing move with the queen forces bishop captures on c3. But okay, uh, this is blitz after all, bishop to d3, we have bishop captures on c3, b captures, and now knight captures on d5, and Hikaru uh, is back in the game, he eliminated that beautiful pass pawn, okay, he, uh, white still has a passed c pawn, uh, but, uh, you know, the, the d5 pawn was very nice, we have bishop back to d2, as the knight was attacking it, rook to c8, and now queen to c2, putting pressure on the h7 pawn, so pawn to h6, and now c4. Uh, advancing uh, th that pass pawn and Hikaru goes queen to b6 with check. Interestingly Hikaru doesn't spot knight captures on c4, it's just a free pawn. Uh, because once white captures it, you're going to play knight to b6 and you're going to win the bishop now. Uh, but okay, Hikaru goes queen to b6 with check. We have king to h1 and now knight to e3, forcing a trade as the queen and rook are hanging. So bishop captures on e3, queen captures, and now rook a to e1. Uh, uh, very nicely played by Arjun, grabbing the open e file for his rook. Queen back to c5, blockading those pawns. If you allow c5 and c6, then black is just lost. So knight to e5 now, and rook f to e8. We have queen to b2, and now rook to c7. Preparing to double up on the e file, uh, knight to g4. Uh, we have rook c to e7, and we have a trade. Captures, captures on e7, and here you should play queen to f2, offer a queen trade, and the game just continues. Uh, maybe he caught trades, maybe he doesn't. Uh, either way, it's uh, good for both white and black. But in the game, h3 was played, and h3 loses the game on the spot. Uh, why this is so, I mean, yeah, okay, you, you create some breathing room for your king, uh, but I'm sure you guys realize it now. But just in case you don't, feel free to pause the video and win the game for Hikaru while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting that the knight has no squares.
Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is pawn to h5. Knight to e4 is also very nice because the g3 square has been uh, uh, freed up by the, the advancement of the pawn to h3, but h5 is even stronger. So congratulations if you found uh, either of those moves. Point is uh, that now after, uh, let's say you move the knight, and there really aren't all that many squares you can move the knight to, like you can go to f2, but then comes queen g5, and the, the queen from, g2, uh, from b2 is no longer defending the mate on g2, so you have to move the knight again let's say knight d1 and now queen g3 and white resigns that's the problem of h3 now you've set up uh, uh, this uh, fork basically the queen is attacking the bishop that's undefended on d3 and also queen captures on h3 is the threat as the g pawn is pinned so here you would just uh, resign and also knight to h2 isn't all that better you're just gonna play pretty much anything the rook can come to e3 you're gonna uh, be able to capture here the knight can come to e4 to g3 uh, a, a lot of stuff is winning here uh, but in the game uh, queen to f2 was played now uh, arjun offers a queen trade and it's a very nice offer because now if hikaru trades then the knight will capture and the knight no longer has to uh, be uh, worried about about uh, the h pawn uh, but here queen to g5 by hikaru absolute strongest move knight to h2 and now rook to e3 hikaru with the only winning move attacking the bishop and the h3 pawn so pawn to h4 attacking the queen now queen to e5 uh, and here we have rook to d1, defending the bishop, and uh, Hikaru goes knight to e4, uh, which is not winning for him. The, the, the way to win this is to play rook h3, and it's uh, it, it, you, you have to see a few moves ahead, which is not easy if, if you're <laughs> very low on the clock, which, which both of them are. Uh, point is that now checkmate is being threatened, and the rook is still uh, not hanging because the bishop just pins that g2 pawn. You're going to have to move the king to g1, and now rook g3. And there isn't all that much you can do. Rook d2 maybe to guard the, the, the g2 pawn. But now just bishop captures on g2. And after rook captures, rook captures on d3. And you've completely uh, busted open uh, the, the white king's position. This is no way to defend your, your king. Uh, so black will win this very, very easily. Uh, but in the game, knight to e4 was played by Hikaru. And now look at this. Bishop captures on e4. Queen captures. And now knight to f3. And now everything is defended. The h4 pawn is defended. The e1 square is defended. And no longer you have to worry about this diagonal. So how can Hikaru play this? Well, it's, uh, it's a position where uh, Hikaru should force a draw with rook captures on f3. Uh, you can't capture it right away. If you capture it right away, then black just wins as you win that uh, rook on d1. But what you can do is after rook captures on f3, you can move the rook uh, with rook to d8 with check. And now after king to h7, now you take the rook. Uh, uh, g captures on f3, let's say queen captures on c4. And the game continues uh, with uh, chances for both sides. Of course, this is blitz. They, they have very little time uh, but uh, you know with with uh, some decent play should be a draw Hikaru goes for f6 instead and now he allows Arjun to start advancing his pass pawn but he doesn't do so just yet he goes for queen to g3 and now we have queen to e7 uh, Hikaru uh, doesn't want to allow any any queen to b8 check idea so he goes queen to e7 and now rook to f1 we have rook to e4 and now pawn to c5 Arjun says all right capture my pawn and I'm gonna play queen to b8 with check uh, but this doesn't really do anything and Hikaru trusts Arjun here because if he captures and queen to b8 with check you can just block and I mean black is uh, m m just much better now so instead uh, bishop to d5 by Hikaru he doesn't want to get his bishop trapped and now we have pawn to c6 uh, rook to uh, uh, rook to c4 now, putting the rook behind the pass pawn, and now rook to e1, going after the black queen on e7. And here you have to play queen to c5 or queen to b4. But after queen to d8 by Hikaru, now Arjun just plays rook to d1, and now the bishop can't really move, and the queen doesn't really have many squares uh, uh, from where the, uh, she can defend the bishop here. Hikaru plays rook to c5 uh, to, to defend the bishop here, and now we have queen to f2 going after the rook now again this is all blitz and i will show you a winning line because it's just uh, a too spectacular not to show but the winning line is queen to g6 and it looks odd but then you realize what's happening here uh white's next move is c7 uh, pretty much regardless of what black does let's say you play queen to b8 as you really don't have many moves and you want to get your queen away from that uh, d file look at this c7 and now, if the rook captures, you lose the bishop on d5. And if the queen captures, well, then you have the back rank. Queen to e8 with check, king h7, 
queen captures on h5 with check, king g8, queen to e8 with check, king h7, and now rook captures on d5. Rook captures, and now look at this, queen to e4 with check. That's the that's the whole point of, of the queen having the g6 square. Uh, you can just, you know, triangulate ho however you want. Uh, and now after king to h8, queen captures on d5. This is not actual triangulation in chess. You, you just moved in a triangle. That's why I called it. But this is not actual triangulation in chess. Uh, so, okay. Uh, after rook to c5, he, uh, we have queen to f2 by Arjun. And now Hikaru uh, can bounce back a little bit. He should play queen to e7, which gets the queen out of harm's way from the d file and also defends the rook. But he goes for rook captures on b5. And now we have, uh, again, queen captures on a7 is winning. But Arjun plays knight to d4 first. He goes after the rook. Uh, bishop captures on c6. Hikaru says, all right, you can have your rook. I'm not having any of that. But here, rook to c1. Now, just uh, uh, really threatening that because as long as the, the rook is on d1 and you capture, then queen captures on d1 happens. So rook to c1, and now Hikaru plays bishop back to e8. What you should probably do is play bishop captures on g2, but none of it is like winning for black. It's just that maybe it's going to be very hard for, for white to defend. Now queen d5 check, king g1, and now you move the rook, and yes, white's up a piece, but... The black king is wide in the open. It's not going to be easy against a queen, king, and a queen rook, and maybe you can start pushing your passed pawn. But in the game, bishop to e8 was played, and now knight captures on b5, bishop captures on b5, queen captures on a7, and now this is a dead draw, pretty much, because the, the white king is so wide in the open. Uh, but Hikaru played one of the few moves that uh, blundered the game on the spot. He played bishop to e2, and now I'm sure you guys know what's uh, happening here even without pausing the video as I mean look at this uh, this is the, the the price of playing blitz and being the the highest rated player in the world uh, sometimes you will you will just uh, crush everyone but sometimes you will miss uh, a, a nice uh, fork like this so queen to a2 was played uh, a check was delivered and it was in this position on move 47 that Hikaru Nakamura resigned the game and Arjun Erigesi uh, won not just one game against Hikaru but three games like we said one time in rapid and two times in blitz which is absolutely incredible as Hikaru is the uh, number one he's the highest rated blitz player in the world the only player uh, uh, aside from uh, Al Alireza Firuja who is over 2900 at the moment now in the live ratings list uh, this isn't uh, so anymore uh, if you guys are interested this is the live ratings list uh, of the uh, of the world blitz rating uh, so now you can see Hikaru dropped 25 points he is now in second place and now Alireza is the only 2900 player in uh, in the world in, in blitz uh, then we have uh, Hikaru Caruana Carlsen only in fourth place uh, uh, Arunyan Artemiev Dubov Giri Nepomniashi uh, and Arjun Erigaisi climbs up to 10th place uh, so he's world number 10 when it comes uh, to, to blitz at the moment uh, on, on, on the live ratings list then Duda Vashiel Lagrav uh, Grishuk Martirosian Wesley So Andrekin Anand and uh, Fed Fedosev, uh, Bauer, and Mamed Yarov. Those are the top 20 currently. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, uh, it could have gone uh, either way. I mean, uh, Hikaru had a winning position, but uh, you've seen how how Arjun just persevered, and and uh, Hikaru could not, uh, uh, you know, just take him down, grab a full point, and that's what uh, what blitz chess is. That's what uh, uh, what uh, what kind of a fighter you have to be in order to win games uh, at this level. Uh, so yeah, once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Zoltan Sarkadi, Eric Adams, the Animated Chemistry Textbook, uh, KGB Sellers, and Ante Butigan for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing, uh, uh, well, not the coverage, the, uh, the, the tournament is over, but I'm going to sh show a few more games. If you have any favorites, do, you sh do use hashtag suggestion, and I will uh, go over it, uh, and basically whatever else is happening in the chess world. So thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day and in case i forgot to mention arjun won the blitz section yeah in case i forgot he, he got second place in rapid won first place in blitz uh, second uh, place in rapid um, uh, only half a point behind nihal sarin uh, see you soon